Introducing Silver, a web app that finds eligible FSA and HSA retail purchases to get you your money back. Built in Flutterflow with Superbase, Custom Code, and a Chrome extension, and launched by two ex-product leaders at HackerRank. In part one, let's hear from the founders, see a demo, and step into the Flutterflow project. Hi, my name is Dan Somrak, and I'm the co-founder of Silver. I started Silver with my co-founder, Oded Shekel, back in May. We actually met uh, 12 years ago back at Microsoft. He was my first manager, and uh, since then, we've worked at four different companies together. About a year ago, we wanted to start our own company, and we were looking for different ideas uh, to start something on. It was actually his wife, Hagit, that uh, asked us, hey, I'm doing a ton of paperwork for my FSA um, and filling out all this information, submitting receipts to insurance. Um, there's got to be a better way to submit paperwork and handle all his claims for out-of-pocket medical expenses. And initially, we actually laughed it off. Um, I did, actually didn't think there would be much repeatability or a reason to turn it into software. But as we dug into uh, the FSA and HSA uh, markets, we realized that there's actually a lot of money being lost each year from people who set money aside for their flexible spending accounts. And then at the end of the year, they haven't spent the money. They might um, take time to stock up on sunscreen, stock up on bandages. Um, but nevertheless, about $4 billion gets lost every year from people who lose money in their FSA accounts, and it gets returned back to their employer. Now, the FSA and HSA programs were created by the government to help people save money, but obviously people are losing money in their accounts. And that's happened to me in the past, and it's also happened to my co-founder. So we created Silver to help people leverage tax-free healthcare, but do it in an automatic way so that they didn't have to worry about tracking receipts, remembering to use their special credit cards, or really thinking about it at all. Um, so I'm going to show Silver today to, uh, to show you how we've created a way to uh, automatically capture, collect all the receipts from any purchases that you've made throughout the year, and then automatically submit them to your FSA or HSA provider to get money back. So from the homepage, go ahead and click Get Started, which will take you to the app. Now, the first thing you want to do is create a brand new account. If you have a Google account, it's really easy to just click this button. It'll take you on through. But I'm going to create a brand new one so you can see what it looks like. And create account. The first question you have to answer is whether you have an FSA or HSA account. FSA is a use it or lose it. HSA will continue um, to be yours after you leave your employer. But if you don't have either, it's OK. You can click, I'm just here to estimate my potential savings which is really useful if you're doing an open enrollment right now. Now I have an FSA, it's left over from my last employer. And I got that FSA through Navia. Now you have to make sure that you're, you've got the specific starting date. About half the people we've spoken to have something different than January 1st, and it might just be based off of your employer's fiscal year. So now I can choose what retailer I wanna start scanning receipts from. We support Amazon, Costco, and Walgreens, and we have more on the way. If there's anything that you specifically use, please vote for that or send us some feedback and we'll get, to, we'll get started working on it. I'm going to click Amazon and it tells me that I need to install and add the Chrome extension. So in order to, to connect to Amazon, Costco, and Walgreens, you actually need to add the Silver Chrome extension to your Chrome browser and that'll allow us to take actions on your behalf. So when we get to, to the screen, just click got it, proceed to Amazon. And if you're signed out, we'll ask you to sign in. Otherwise, click start scanning. What's going to happen next is Silver will automatically run through all of the orders in your purchase history. It's going to send every receipt up to the service so we can check to see if you have any eligible items in that receipt. If there are eligible items, we'll let you know right here. And as you can see, we've already started to find some eligible items. At this point, Silver's finished scanning all of Amazon and have returned us back to the Silver app. Now I'm also going to scan Costco. Costco works a little bit differently. It doesn't matter if you've bought something on the Costco website or on store, we'll find both purchases within the uh, Costco order tab 
and the account. So Silver is now going to go through each of the receipts. Keep in mind, this is anything that was purchased even in store. It's going to pull it up and it's going to check the receipt. Like other uh, retailers, if you purchase it in store, you might see an F on the receipt or maybe a star. That means that the, L, that the item is health related and FSA or HSA eligible. So right now we're pulling up every receipt. We're checking to see if the F is there and we're scanning it and sending it to our server. So it's already started to find $15 and we're going to let this run as well to see how much money we can get from Costco. Now that we've scanned both Amazon and Costco, you can see that there's $753 that I could get reimbursed from my FSA account. So I'm going to click review expenses. At this point, we're showing you everything that we've scanned. If you've actually used your debit card from your FSA for any of these items, or if you've already done a claim for anything, you can remove it right now. So I'm just going to remove one of these items. You can see that it shows on hold right here. At any time, I can add it back in and reimburse it later. So I've got 28 separate expenses that I'm about to reimburse. So I'm going to click Next. Now, you'll need to put in all of your personal details so that we know how to fill out the claim forms and get you your money back. This time, we're going to take all of the information that we have and build the claim PDF forms so we can send them to the FSA. This includes pulling together all the receipts for all eligible items and making it easy for you to sign it all at once. So you can see that there's four different claim forms. That's because Navia in particular can only take uh, seven separate items on each form. So this would have been four different claims. Now I'll put in my uh, uh, signature here, review all of them, and then I'm going to click Submit. When you click Submit, we're going to do one final review on the back end before we send it to the provider. And then once it goes through, you can expect to get the money back into your account within a couple weeks. It all depends on the FSA or HSA provider that you're using. So the claims are now successfully submitted to our back end team. We'll review them and send them forward. Thank you. So when we built Silver and Flutterflow, now as part of the adding receipts workflow, it starts off by having the user add an extension to Chrome. Even though that wasn't built in Flutterflow, we still had to communicate between Flutterflow and the extension. So the way we do that is when you install an extension, you can give it a URL to hit when it gets installed. And so it's actually hitting this extension installed web page. Now on extension installed, you can see that it's going to call a custom action called login to extension. And when I come over here to the, uh, the custom code side, I'm going to go to custom action for login to extension. And you can see what we're doing is we're going to grab, we're, we're going to use a super base um, edge function called create custom token. And so it's actually, we're using uh, our, our super base instance and authentication we're creating a custom token and we're going to actually send that over to the extension with this js.context.call method. So what's actually happening here is from the Dart code, we're calling a function in JavaScript that's going to send a message to the extension. And I'm gonna come over here to show you on the web publishing side, if I come over here to our custom headers, we have a function here. All right, so we've got functions, uh, a couple different functions, but this one right here, send message to extension. This is actually communicating directly to the Chrome extension that's um, attached to my Chrome instance. So even though we've been using Dart and Flutterflow, we still have the same uh, power that we would have with any by calling any JavaScript function that we need to. Of course, it's hard to maintain if you have too much code in JavaScript. Um, so we just have a couple, like we've got a handful of functions here, but that allows us to call into that uh, Chrome extension and then get callbacks from the Chrome extension. What, um, what that allows us to do is a couple different things. So I come back to these custom actions. We can check to see if the extension is installed. 
with our check for extension uh, function. We can also get the login, which is a next step. And then I'm gonna come down here to start extension capture. So we're actually sending a message to the extension of, we'd like you to start capturing from Amazon. And then when you're done capturing from Amazon, come back to this redirect URL. So that's how we're able to accomplish a very seamless interaction between the app and the Chrome extension. If you noticed, I didn't have to log into the Chrome extension. I didn't have to even touch the Chrome extension. And very purposefully, the Chrome extension doesn't have its own UI. If you'd click on the Chrome extension, it'll open up the Flutterflow app. And that allows us to completely control the experience. And the fact that the Chrome extension development takes a lot of JavaScript and um, like you can't do it in low code, we wanted to minimize the amount of uh, work we were doing in that extension and really do as much as possible in Flutterflow because we can update it at any time. The other thing about Chrome extensions is you have to submit it to the Chrome store, you have to wait for approval. So we're trying to keep it as basic as possible. So that's how we're able to do this extension installed. And then you can see as part of that workflow, we come to the scan receipts page uh, after everything's been scanned or collected from those uh, different retailer sites. And then we're just showing everything from our Superbase instance here. One other thing that we did was this is live updating. So Superbase has, um, Similar to similar to Google Firebase uh, and Firestore, we were able to get kind of live updates on the page.